Okay, uh, time to take down notes. <clears throat> a fake social media lifestyle, a fake social media lifestyle, can be defined as the process of making haters hate and potatoes potate. Pardon. Defined as the process of making haters hate and potatoes potate by posting a lifestyle better than the lifestyle that you are living. Okay? Methods of achieving a fake social media lifestyle. The methods include, semicolon, Roman numeral one, posting pictures around rich friends' cars. Posting pictures around rich friends' cars. Roman numeral two, Posting hotel food, like that's the only food you ever eat. Pardon. Posting hotel food, like that's the only food you ever eat. Roman numeral three. Taking very many pictures in different outfits on a previously sponsored vacation. And you start posting one by one weekly so that we think that you're traveling weekly. Roman numero four, always posting winning captions, e.g., you could be in the toilet, you could be in the toilet, and you post, my God has done it again. Disadvantages of a fake social media lifestyle. Regardless of all winning captions you post, you can still get evicted. Regardless of all winning captions you post, you can still get evicted because you're actually broke. Because you're actually broke. Disadvantage number two. <clears throat> Due to the amount of pressure you put yourself under, you are likely to just die and the doctors won't even know what killed you. You are likely to just die and the doctors won't even know what killed you. Roman numero three. When the people that you have been trying to deceive eventually find out that you are full of shit. I beg your pardon? When the people that you have been trying to deceive eventually find out that you are full of shit. It's game over. It's game over. And you go back to square one. Trying to find new people to deceive. 